Hey, what's up guys? Welcome to a Web Design Tuts Plus quick tip. I'm Adi and today we're talking about ad banners. And I'm sure most of you have done some in the past or are about to. Uh, either way, I'll talk briefly about some good practices when designing these banners and we'll fire off Photoshop to make some of our own. But first, let's um, look at some banners and try to, try to identify uh, a journal structure for them. So if we open up Web Design Tuts homepage, uh, we can see this banner from NetSonic. And it has a logo, which you'll find in every single banner. It's, uh, it's part of the branding. And you'll find the message or the heading. Easy on demand, flexible cloud servers, plus the pricing info. This is part of uh, the heading or the message. It's basically what your banner says about the service or product you're, uh, you're marketing. Uh, let's have a look at the Adobe one. Deploy powerful web forms faster. Again, this is the heading. Uptime guarantee. This is the heading. Um, a second element which it isn't present in all banners, but it should be, in my opinion, is a call to action. Uh, sign up and try for free today. Learn more. Uh, Adobe does this very well. Uh, they lay out a very simple call to action um, with a very bright button that stands out. So if the user uh, gets to the banner, he reads it, and then he knows immediately what to do, right? Sign up and try for free today. And that's really the point of a call to action um, in a banner. You grab the user's attention, he reads your banner, but then what? You must tell him what to do next. And that's either uh, to sign up for something, to visit your website, um, to click on a button to learn more information, anything. Um, the purpose of the banner is to direct the user to some place, to some website. And adding a call to action makes that really easy. Uh, in contrast, if we take a look at this one, it doesn't really have a call to action. Um, I mean, the user knows, you and me both know that um, we got to click the banner to to take us somewhere, right? To read more about uh, that posting uh, company. But, you know, not all users know that. You can't really assume everyone knows you gotta click an ad banner to, um, to get the information you need. So, uh, remember, always use, um, if the space allows you, of course, if the space allows you, always use uh, a call to action. Um, the third element I want to talk about is an attention grabber and I'll give you two quick examples. Uh, this one 99.9% .9%, a very big bright color it stands out great uh, on the black background it immediately catches your eye and that's the point of an attention grabber. Uh, it's optional but if you use it correctly will uh, help you draw the user's eye to your, uh, to your banner. So the second example uh, on Web Designer Depot is this Shutterstock banner. As you can see, uh, bright color, bright uh, background, and you have this image right here of, uh, of the woman. Uh, this is an attention grabber. And this banner, if we take a look at it, uh, has all the elements that uh, that it, we actually need. So it has the branding, it has the attention grabber, it has the heading or the message, and it has the call to action. So this is a very complete uh, banner. All right, now uh, we'll talk more about this when we actually build our own. But uh, before we do that, uh, there are certain guidelines you must um, consider before you know firing up your um, your image editor 
and that is the the banner sizes. Uh, there are universal sizes for them. If you go to iab.net, and I'll provide this link uh, with the tutorial, you'll find universal ad package, and you will find four uh, banner sizes: medium rectangle, rectangle, wide skyscraper, and leaderboard. And each one of these corresponds to uh, one of these um, banners. For instance, this one uh, from NetSonic is the leaderboard, 728 by 90. And we'll do just this. We'll uh, create four banners with these sizes for um, a fictive company called Blue Hosting uh, with a very simple message. Uh, with an attention grabber, some call to action, uh, just to show you, you know, how you can incorporate uh, branding and a message into different size banners. So let's fire up Photoshop and start doing that.